Welcome back. In this video, I promise I won't talk about imports for five minutes. Instead, let's jump right in and start creating a block for our Tetris game. The first thing I want to do is create a type alias for our block. And a type alias is exactly what you think it is. It is an alias for something else. And in this case, a block is going to be an alias for a record that has one field called color. And the type of that field is going to be surprise color so let's go ahead and import color so that we have access to it so we're going to import color exposing color and while we're at it i'm also going to go ahead and import basics uh, exposing everything uh, the basics module comes with all the basics you want to write a program including addition subtraction uh, numeric comparison lots of stuff if you ever get weird errors uh, about a dish not existing. You probably forgot to import basics. While I'm up here, I'm also going to import graphics.collage, uh, exposing everything as well. Collage happens to be, oops, not collared, collage. Uh, import graphics.collage, exposing everything. That just so happens to be a, a module for creating shapes and forms that can be uh, drawn to the screen. Okay, and so let's create a function now. We're gonna take a block and we're gonna turn it into a form. And so the type of this function is gonna be a block goes to form. And so to form, we have it taken uh, a, a block object or a block uh, value. And we're gonna say, Let's create the shape first. And so our block is going to be a square. Uh, in collage, we imported. Uh, there's a square function that we're going to use. And square takes in a float value. So we're going to say the size of the square. And let's real quick just create a size float. So size is going to be 25. And that's, I think that's a decent sized square. So that's going to be, I think, 25 pixels by 25 pixels. So a square, it defines the sides, the length of the sides. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, make the shape a filled solid color. So there's a filled function in collage. And the filled takes in a color. So we happen to have a color from our block. <clears throat> and it also takes in the shape which we've defined as that square. So we're gonna go ahead and do build block color shape. And let's refresh to make sure uh, our compiler's happy. The compiler's happy, so we're happy. And now main, uh, let's go ahead and annotate the type here. That's what this little colon thing is called. It's a type annotation. Main is producing an element. If you recall, the show function takes in something and produces an element. Let's see what happens if we give it a block. So we're gonna create a block. Um, we're gonna make a block that is the color blue. And let's refresh here. And it prints out the record. We have a color uh, and it happens to be a, a red, green, blue alpha value of 52, 101, 164, one. Um, not exactly what we wanted. Instead, uh, we want to actually render that to the screen. So what we're going to want to use is the collage function, which comes from surprise, graphics.collage. And this function takes in two integer values, defining the width and height of the element we want to produce. And it also takes a list of forms. Um, and so block is not a form. But we've written this function here, to form, which takes in a block and produces a form. So we're going to use to form like this. We're going to go ahead and refresh. And there we have it. We have this nice blue block in the middle of our collage. And I think it would look a little bit better if we added a nice border to it. So I'm going to add a nice black border. And so I'm going to create a border in here. I'm going to make that equal to um, an outlined. So there's a function in collage called outlined. And it takes in a line style. Um, and the line style I want happens to be solid. And it takes in a color. And I want the border to be black. So 
I'm going to create a border that is outlined solid black. Um, and so I need to wrap this in parentheses because solid is a function saying that my line style, it solid produces a line style of a particular color. And then it wants to know what shape I want to use. And so I'm going to go ahead and use the same shape I'm using for my square, uh, for my block, excuse me. And then I need to produce, again, I need to produce a single form. So I'm going to use group. Collage has a function called group, which takes in a list of forms and it combines them into a single form. So here we go, we've done that here. Let's go ahead and refresh. And now we have this nice black border that is one pixel wide that just pops out real nice. Um, and so there we have it. We have this beautiful, wasn't I right? This is a little bit more impressive than the 42. I hope you are happy with it just as I am. Uh, so w now we have a block that we can use to start constructing our tetrominoes. And in the next video, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to create tetrominoes for our Tetris game.